Warning! Challenger approaching! Piranha Plant! Cake Pops? I just had to pay tribute to the newest addition to Smash Brothers. People seem pretty polarized on Piranha Plant, but I think this chompy boy looks fun as heck to play as, and I may just main him in Smash Brothers. Anyway, on to the recipe! Anyone that's played Super Mario RPG knows that Piranha Plants need fertilizer. We're gonna make some out of tofu. Trust me, it actually tastes pretty good. Place a box of silken tofu in a bowl. Melt some chocolate. Use any kind you like. My favorite is bittersweet. Add it to your tofu. Now blend it up. I use my stick blender for this. If you don't have one, you can make this in your regular blender. Blitz it up until it's smooth. See? Doesn't it look pretty good? It is. Cover it in plastic and place it in the fridge for at least two hours. Now the cake. Grab your favorite chocolate cake mix. Add water, or better yet, espresso, oil, and an egg. Whisk to combine. Now I bake it off in the silicone pans. If you don't have a silicone pan, just make sure you grease up your regular pan so you can get the cake out. Pour in the batter. Bake it for 15 to 25 minutes or until it's done. Beautiful. Take it out of your oven and let it cool completely. Okay, now take that cake and dump it into a big bowl. Start demolishing it. Next, add a third of your chocolate fertilizer. I start with a spatula, but don't be afraid to use your hands. Mash it all up. Alright, now take this whole big batch and make a peace sign. Peace. Which is an easy way to divide into thirds. One third you can eat alone, one third is going to become piranha plants, and the other third we're going to use in a second. Okay, now divide one third into equal pieces. It doesn't have to be exact. Now roll those up into balls. It's like playing with Play-Doh, only it tastes way better. Slide a lollipop stick in. Nice. Now place them on a parchment line sheet and place them in a freezer for at least one hour. So piranha plants typically come in pipes, but this guy's got a flower pot. I got these pots online, but you can find them probably at your hardware store. Alright, take the other third of your cake mass and flatten some out. Place it on the bottom of your pot. Spoon in a little bit of your fertilizer. Another layer of cake. And finish it off with fertilizer. Set these aside. Now when your pops are ready, take them out of the freezer. Let's put a smile on that face. With a knife! Cut into your cake pop carefully. You can eat the scraps when no one's looking. Waka 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 waka. Okay, now set these to freeze again. In the meantime, get some red candy melts. I like these because they're very user friendly. Melt them the same way you melted your chocolate. Now carefully lower your cake pop into the red. Scream all you want! Then, with its mouth facing the coating, tap out the excess. Cool. I let mine set up straight to dry on styrofoam. Let them set up completely. To decorate, get some white saltwater taffy. Warm it up with your fingers until it's pliable and then flatten it out. Grab a pen cap. This lets you punch out spots. Neat, huh? For teeth, roll up a little log and then slice off triangles. Press those onto logs to make the bottom and top lips. Now let's do a little bit of cake pop surgery. Using a lollipop stick, dab on a little candy melt onto your spot and place it on a cake pop. See? It's easy! And no need to go for perfect. Piranha plants are all beautiful and special even if they are a little mean. Apply some coating on its mouth and press on those lips. All that's left to do is plant this bad boy. Oh, and give it hands too. 
Looking sharp, fellas. When snack time rolls around, feel free to munch off its head. Unlike other kick pops, these aren't super sweet, and they're borderline healthy with all that tofu. Mmm. Speaking of which, grab a little spoon and make sure you devour every bite of that pot. Yummy. Also, an added benefit is that you can make these kick pops fight. Uh oh, Link's sizing them up. Incredible! A big thank you to my Patreon super producers who help me make these neat videos. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon in the link description. I'll make it worth your while. Did you like my cake pops? Or is your heart filled with hate for piranha plants? Let me know in the comments. Give me a like and subscribe too. You can also request future recipes. Thank you, I love you, baby.